Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial covering simplifying radicals with x's in there. And these are multiple choice. Expressed in simplest radical form. We have the square root of 36x. Square root of 36x. We can split this into two parts. Radical 36 times x. And they can go into their individual radicals. So radical 36 times radical x. We know that radical 36 is equal to 6 because that is a perfect square. So this can just be 6. Radical x cannot be simplified. So the final answer is 6 radical x. Now we have square root 36x to the ninth. We have radical 36x to the ninth. We can split this into their two parts. 36 times x to the ninth. We know that radical 36 is just 6 times. So this, understand that the radical means the exponent is to the 1 half power. All right, so this can be written as 9 divided by 2. All right, so x to the 9 over 1 can be reduced into x to the 4 and x to the one half okay so you can pull this out so it is six x to the fourth power and this is the square root uh to the power one half so you can now rewrite this as just radical x here so the final answer can be six x to the 4 radical x it would be this one all right understand that x uh, or though another way you can think about it is this so at this step it would be six times here you can split this apart so what they did is they split this to an x to the 8 and x to the 1 okay before they did the radical so they did they did x 8 divided by 4 times radical x so that's another way of doing it all right here we have radical 2x this cannot be simplified you cannot break down radical 2 or x so that's just the answer now we see an x we see x cubed radical x to the fourth. Nothing happens to the x cubed times four is going to be divided by two because that's what the radical is. The radical is means to the one half power. So the radical of x is equal to x to the one half. So that's where the divide by two is. So this becomes x to the three times this simplifies to x to the two. At this point, these two can add to make 3 plus 5. So, sorry, 3 plus 2. And which makes x to the fifth. So here, it's x to the fifth. Same thing here. We have x cubed radical x to the 8 this breaks down to x cubed times x 8 and it's going to be divided by 2 the reason why is because that radical radical of x is the same thing as x to the negative 1 half power so x cubed times 8 divided by 2 becomes 4 these multiply same basis so you add the exponent becomes x to the 7. 
There you go. All right, so let's do this one more. Here, we have 2x to the fifth. This can be broken down into 2 times x to the 4 times x. Okay, you're going to see why. Because remember, the radical is the same thing as the radical of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half. So nothing happens to the radical 2 times x4 is going to be divided by 2. And then this is going to be multiplied by radical x. So x4 divided by 2 is just 2. Then you have left on the inside 2 and x. So here it is x to the 2 radical 2x. All right, there you go. This is simplifying radicals with x's and it they're multiple choice.